In addition to colonoscopy, there are other tests that we use to screen patients for colorectal cancer. Uh, the first of which is a flexible sigmoidoscopy. This is similar to a colonoscopy in that you have to also take a bowel prep and it also can be done with sedation. However, it only looks at the left side of the colon. It does not see the middle or the end of the colon as does a complete colonoscopy. The difference between a colonoscopy and a flexible sigmoidoscopy is in fact how far we go into the colon. A colonoscopy evaluates the entire colon where a flexible sigmoidoscopy only goes up to approximately about 40 centimeters into the colon. It is important that this test be offered because many doctors that are not surgeons or gastroenterologists that are trained to perform a full colonoscopy um, are trained to do this procedure and sometimes this can be done in the office without sedation. So it's important for patients who are unable to receive sedation or also unable to undergo a full colonoscopy that this is an accepted screening method. Of course, if a polyp is found doing a flexible sigmoidoscopy, we, we do recommend that a patient undergo a full screening of the colon, which of course, a, a colonoscopy would be the preferred method. Usually these procedures are performed within an operating room or procedural room. When you arrive, you'll notice a number of people in the room with you. They usually include a nurse that is there to monitor you throughout the procedure, also potentially a technician that's there to, to help uh, all members in the room for uh, gaining access to equipment or helping the doctor when it comes to, to small maneuvers of, of positioning. The patient is placed on their left side as if they were taking a nap. This gains access for the doctor to insert the scope into the rectum. If a patient chooses not to have sedation during their colonoscopy or sigmoidoscopy, many things I counsel patients on is that they will feel cramping. And this cramping is due to the air that we use to insufflate the bowel so that we can see. However, every patient is different and so therefore we offer, in most cases, the ability for sedation to be used so that the patient is not aware of some of these small but very important inconveniences uh, as we push around the corners of the colon in order to get to the, to the end of the colon for evaluation.